is ready for you now. This office may not be mine or real, but this bourbon sure is. Finally here. Now we can get started. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. So how did I die? Is there a profile for me? What would it say? I don't understand how I did. Are you willing to accept that answer? Oh wait. But I don't see how they killed me. Time is different here. Every second on Earth is a decade from here. You died five seconds ago. Oh, oh man. I, I really fucked up. She never got angry. She, she never lashed out. 23 years of denial. It's not just your death, but your life you're denying. Let's continue. The normal reaction of someone experiencing such a loss is feelings of helplessness, vulnerability. So how does it make you feel? You know, I guess like normal. A lot like, I don't know, just normal, you know? It does get me to thinking, though. Maybe I hadn't pushed so hard, but better yet, not at all. You can't beat yourself up over the past. Otherwise, you will find yourself blaming more than yourself. You will blame the world, blame God, <laughs> blame me. <laughs> I made you laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. The idea of a psychiatrist that believes in God? Well, I am death itself. I don't know, man. I'm not really sold on the whole God thing, and quite frankly, I'm surprised you are. You know, mixing shit like science and religion? That shit like... I could judge you. I could say, oh, you're one of those people. One of the ones who don't know how to deal with life. So you propagate your own fantasies of what isn't. But I won't, because I'm not here to judge. 
You had your whole life to understand what happened after you died. I'm only here to help you understand why you're here. How did I get back here? I suppose you're realizing by now that I'm not really a psychiatrist. And this isn't really a psychiatrist office. Have you heard the story of the prince and the bull? It was a prince and he was passionately in love with this peasant girl, but the peasant girl didn't love him. So the prince takes the peasant girl to the king and he requested the king that they be married. The peasant girl begs and pleads with the king that he doesn't do this. But the king is bound by royal protocol and he agrees to the prince's wishes. So they're married. That evening in the prince's chambers, the prince is eagerly waiting to consummate his marriage. When the terrified girl runs from the chambers, she runs from the safety of the castle. She runs outside past signs that warn of danger. She runs into a field, and in that field is a bull. And seeing the girl, the bull charges her. She trips, but she's trampled, and she's killed on the spot. This is why you can't take the blame for everything that happens. There's no sense in weeping over the inevitable. All this time, you've been worried about a death you presumed was your brother's. A death you made up in your head to deal with the truth you've known all along. My brother isn't dead, is he? I'm sorry. No. You swung at your brother. He pushed you into a rock. You've been feeling guilty over a death you thought was his. Only to cloud the truth of what you knew in your head all along. It was your body laying in the forest river. Forgive others, but you won't forgive yourself. You have such a need to be loved that you would rather blame yourself and let other people off the hook. Forgive yourself, and God will forgive you. Another session, or did he make it nope, this time? We're done. Send in his brother. Got it. Papers on your counter. I'm glad you came. <laughs> 